presents. I gave my mum and dad all kinds of Christmas presents. I used to go round the shops for hours looking at razors, key rings, clothes brushes, bath salts, chocolate gingers. Once I thought I'd made a breakthrough. I was at Salmon's the Ironmongers and there they were, two jug things. They were both made of glass except for the tops. One was a milk jug and it had a bright green plastic top and there was a little lever on it. And when you pulled the lever, a little door slid open and you poured your milk out through the little door. The other jug was for sugar. This one had a bright green plastic top as well, but this one was a kind of funnel so you could pour the sugar out, but it wasn't any kind of funnel. It was special. It had a little gadget inside the funnel. So you only poured out one teaspoonful at a time. Magic. So I bought these wonderful things and I gave them to my mum and dad for Christmas. They said they were very nice. They were very pleased. And for a week or so after Christmas, they were always on the table. If anyone wanted any milk or sugar, I'd say, can I do it for you? Do you want milk in your tea? Let me do it. And I rushed to pick up the jug, pull back the lever, and the milk poured out of the trap door. Sugar? And I picked up the sugar jug, tipped it up to pour out the magic one teaspoonful. Another, another spoonful, anyone? And I poured out the second one. Anyone else? I became the milk and sugar king. I had to be the milk and sugar driver. All week I was pouring for everyone. Breakfast, dinner, tea. After a week or two, I noticed that the milk bottle was getting back onto the table. No jug. I noticed the sugar bowl and the boring old spoon were getting back onto the table. No sugar jug. You see, Someone had to fill those two jugs. So I said, I'll do it. I'll get the new jug, eh? Yeah, I'll get the sugar thing if you want, okay, yeah. So I poured the milk and the sugar into the jugs and put them onto the table. The only trouble was they'd got their milk and sugar by then. They didn't need me to drive their milk and sugar for them. My reign as the milk and sugar king was over. I was beaten by the bottle and the bowl. My bright green plastic topped jugs went up on top of the kitchen cupboard with the jam jars without lids. We left them there when we moved from that house. They're probably still there. <laughs>